Hi, David. I've got. Uh, so, what was your name, love? Good morning. I am David. <laughs> Hello there. I've, um, I'm coming in to uh, be a, you know, impartial advice there, information to to, uh, to help out if I can. I am uh, lawfully trained, so um, yeah, take it away. I don't subscribe to a surname, but there is a family name, and it's uh, Jeremita. I can spell you that. Right. that yes, it's Golf Indigo Alpha. Um, calling conversation. Um, layman apostolate. Me or... I'm just here as uh, for for help and information um, as a layman apostolate, and uh, okay, uh, I will help uh, mediate um, any. Issues. I don't know what the issue is first, so uh, if I've got authority to be present on the call via today and we've passed data protection and GDPR, could somebody explain what is going on and what what is uh, being required today or asked of? Today, then you're legally now responsible for for what happens, aren't you? You realise if you close down the avenues of communication, then you are the one, you are the party, the representative and agent that chooses to end the uh, mitigation, you know, and you're going to move to other areas. So as long as you're aware of that, and we are witness to that, then we are prepared today to conditionally accept and service the claims and charges. If you're not willing to, then there's not a lot we can do, but let it be known we are willing and vexatiously to sort this out, yes. Okay, so I'm surprised that we're speaking to the laws, sword laws, post laws, um, and I'm calling on regards to a complaint that we've been on the um, and I can't think have been paying for over five years now. Um, if you don't want to discuss in regards to paying, it's just going to advise me that we're taking in laws, then this call is going to go around in circles. I'm just going to give you my response. Um, may I just... Okay, thank you so very much for your thing today. You've ended the call then, so so um, we are willing to uh, to initially accept and move forward with these claims. Um, some new information has come to light regarding contract and consent, authority, implied jurisdiction, and um, perhaps, um, you know, uh, third-party corporate uh, entities such as yourselves there. Um, we would like to uh, to discuss this account and repayment and the new information that's come to light. The account, um, you know, is being managed and uh, effectively payments are going to be, uh, you know, uh, made in some kind once the data that is requested has uh, has, has been, uh, you know, given. So has a has a right to uh, some information and data and um, some new information regarding, you know, contracts, obligations and liabilities has come to hand. So he is. Uh, he is not, you know, uh, the legal entity. If you're legally trained, you will be aware of the legal status that's applied. And uh, as men of the of, of the creator of um, religion, we uh, we are no respecter of persons. So regarding the contract and the stuff that's going on here, the requirements and charges, it's just an administration and a correction is is what's required. But the account um, is being managed, and there is no denial of payment. So I'm confused uh, as to what's going on. Uh, could you enlighten? Yes, uh, I've been making a payment of one one pound per month, 
um, for, for a considerable time now. Um, and then I've, uh, I received a phone call yesterday um, asking about my circumstances. And the lady yesterday she said uh, she will stop um, the one pound payments. Okay, all oh, right, okay. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I, I didn't ask for the payments to be stopped. She actually advised that, um, that the payments will stop. She's going to put a hold on the account. Um, so that's where we are today. Obviously, I've made a complaint because um, I've realised that I've been paying a third-party um, corporation and business that I do not have a contract with, who have actually purchased the debt from um, NBNA, apparently. Oh, okay. So the company have decided to manage the account in this way, and it's not to do with your wishes and requirements. Okay, then no problem. So, what does how does the agent feel today? I forgot her name. Uh, what was your name, Lo Lovey? So, uh, so, what, so what do you require from uh, from from the account and the account holder? Uh, you know, the one responsible here. What do you require today? He's put in a complaint recently, has he then? Sorry, I get the authorization to speak with the agent on your behalf. Yes, indeed.
Paul, um, may I just speak and thank you for that. It's very, very well appreciated, and we we appreciate your time today for taking you know the time to sort this out. So, the lady to the agent there just said that you could reinstate the one pound payment. You could uh, you could facilitate that, and we can um, put the you can look at putting the account into serious dispute, and then we dispute the legality, the contract with that. So if you could manage to pay the pound a month, and the agent said she could reinstate that. That could be done, and instead of the account being on hold, it can be in serious dispute, and then we can um, process the application for um, the data subject access request and all of the um, contractual um, agreements that they've got for the debt um, as they bought it, and they're now looking to recover. So it's up to you, buddy. It's entirely up to you. Okay. Yeah. So if we if we put the account um, in serious dispute and obviously pay the pound. Um, just to keep things uh, ticking over, is that is that okay? Why would you want to Legal repercussions. Can I answer? I'll, I'll tell you why we do that. Um, because it keeps the it keeps him in honour, okay? Because he's, he 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 feels that he hasn't uh, consented. The word would be consented to deal to do business. He's had a business approach him, and he's got legal um, parameters of which to now. Um, keep um, uh, satisfied. So, in order to service the alleged debt and charges, he would un uh, under dispute, you know, uh, the account being under dispute there and under duress because he hasn't asked and signed paperwork to come to you and do business. You've appeared and laid your terms and conditions upon him for repayments of debts that now you have got, you know, on your accounts and books. So, for legal repercussions and fine fees, levies, and uh, accounts going into. Um, collection, we would want to keep clean hands in this legal position, and to keep clean hands, you 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 would be considered to make the minimum payments under duress and put the account into serious dispute, and then we would require further proofs of claim, authority, contract, novation of agreements, and so forth later down the line. So it's a it's a safety mechanism to satisfy the pre-action protocols of the civil court practice in England and Wales, which is uh, where we're at today, you know. So it's just the way we do business. We like to keep clean hands, keep you with the money going in, the minimum payment, and then we would then request further details for this, uh, you know, account here that, that you're asking to be uh, managed. of all of this. Are you, have you got a legal certificate there for um, your, you know, your... Yeah, because I'm, a, I'm a complete handler. Okay, that's good. Cause I, I have been a criminal in several laws. 
Okay, yeah, that, that's good to know because what, what we look at is with regards to companies and uh, contracts, we look at English law, contract law, and then with regards to postal, um, possible postal fraud, the, the management of the postal system comes from the post office and then it goes to Royal Mail. And for governance of these um, legal, when you send legal instruments through the post and you are contracting through the post, you need to adhere to the, uh, a company, not you yourself, but a company would need to adhere to the Universal Postal Union governance that governs Royal Mail and the, and the, you know the, the, the fact that the mail used to be the Queen's Her Majesty there are certain rules and legislation it's international it regards data and it regards um, contracts say if a company send a, sent, sent a letter out and it was legal and it was uh, com it was uh, domestic post that's a no-no if it's got a PO box reply number on it and it's legal and it's non-domestic commercial then that's a no-no so we are privy to some of the customs and practices of which the uh, the England and Wales contractual legal system needs to operate in so if a company is uh, managing legal business and they're doing it through the post and they're also in contract there are certain areas which I, I am aware you're not legally trained there but there are certain case law areas for business and practice, the Financial Conduct Association, Royal Mail, um, the Bills of Exchange, it, it goes quite deep, but there's very um, layered, many very, you know, many layered areas of which um, we are not too sure about. So um, the, the call needs to go to um, requirement for the uh, repayment to be put back in of a pound a month to stop all legal activity under duress. He, want, he wishes to do that today, and we will be sending him to the head office um, a notice for you to uh, complete. Thank you. about that later once the agent is gone we would uh, need to talk privately about what he what he's going to do for the account management but if the, if if he makes the decision may i just confirm then we've got he's got two options he either pays the one pound minimum and and keeps to that or we uh, we don't do the one pound minimum payments he doesn't pay that and then the account is put on into a serious dispute and on hold and then we require further clarification down the line until we, we come to a we we, we mitigate these uh, um, areas. So is that correct? So the two options here today: continue paying or account into dispute. Yes, I mean, I mean, I, I will be um, looking to the complaint. Um, I wait
putting a, um, you know, the serious, the, the accounting serious dispute. It's uh, being dealt with. It's not being ignored. And um, after clarification and valid, val validification of the, of the, of the status of it, we'd move forward from that. So, um, you would get a notice from. <laughs> just one minute. Your company will be receiving a notice from regarding his requirements under the legislation. You know. All right. Thank you. Under what legislation? If you're not legally trained, there's no point in explaining it. But under the, uh, the 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 Westminster Codes and regulations of um, contract, uh, you know, debt, um, it comes goes into money, it goes into the bills of exchange, it goes into contracts. So there's various areas of financial and legal uh, contracts law um, that, that we'd want to uh, confirm, mitigate, and then we'd go to the litigation if if required, or perhaps effective mitigation would render the account, um, you know, resolved. So. We're looking to resolve it, and we're not uh, playing games. New information has come to light. I've joined um, a private trust. Um, you as an agent today have been noticed uh, accordingly by, and then with authority by me. And as an agent of the company today, when we notice the agent, we notice the principal. And noticing the principal is noticed to the agent, which is um, your boss, the chief executive officer, um, is, is obviously responsible for how the your account, it's not the account, he didn't ask for it, he didn't create it, so it's not even his account. So it's just things like this, the small print, the I's and the T's, we'd like to cross and dot, clarification, mitigation, and possibly then we'd resolve the account and stop any um, incoming impending litigation. So um, that will come in the form of a notice, um, signed, sealed, and delivered um, by the letter via Royal Mail, recorded, signed for, and then you would have 14 days, 21 days, your company and the executives to respond to the requirement, requirement under financial and legal obligations coming out of Westminster via statute and legislation. We'd like just to manage the account, stop all legal activity, and then we shall be in touch in the, in the next week with a message for you. Yeah. Yes, that's good. That's what we need to ensure. That's correct. That's good. Can you just clarify that once per day, but not every day? What does 
me. So we don't call on a Sunday, we're not open on a Sunday, but we'll take the call, we'll get, I mean, it's not in every day. But if there's a genuine need for contact, and you can see no, no. Uh, how many times a day have you been calling me? Once a day. Yeah, so how many times a week? Are you, are you comfortable? Well, 
I can, yeah, sure. I can yeah, hang I can, on a minute. I just want to make sure that you're happy and that you're fully informed of your... Um, the lady there is doing the duties and obligations before they start legal proceedings. They are. Um, I'm not saying they're going to, but the law says that they must check if you need help with payments and management. So she's mentioned that you're a customer there. You don't see yourself as a customer, and this, these are the bits we need to um, mitigate and sort out. So, uh, yes, uh, it's not your account, and you're not a customer of theirs, but you are involved with them, and now you're at a legal position of which you need to make a decision on how you're going to proceed that you know, is going to benefit you, that suits you. So situations have changed privately, obviously with the COVID and then thing, the infection and the lockdown, and then things have changed legally as well. There's been a, a few changes there, personal changes, financial changes, and then obviously the civil administrative changes that we're looking at today with accounts and customers and debts and charges and stuff. So, you know, we're in Chapter 11 bankruptcy and every corporation I can prove from 1930 is bankrupt. So I don't know how much your uh, financial business acumen is with the, you know, the, the money, the promissory notes and debts that we have. And the debts is, needs to be discharged. There's charges here and we're looking to discharge them. So we've got some decisions to make to inform the lady and the, the agent. And then we'll move forward with notices to them going forward or you can continue on. It's your choice. Yeah, def definitely. Thanks. Yeah, as, as we were just saying, just um, if you could put the account in dispute um, and on hold, um, just why we want we got this. Sorry, what is it disputing? Just uh, so I think all my information is accurate as possible. So what are you disputing? Are you disputing the balance? Are you disputing the owner of the account? What exactly are you disputing? Sorry. If you can do for the account that you have done to yourself for the last five years, that is you um, accepting liability by admission. No, it's not. It's, it's uh, by deception. You've, you, uh, you've obtained money by deception because I, I thought that you were um, the company, the credit, uh, the, the, the credit company that I took the line of credit out with. But you're actually not, are you? You're a company that I don't, I've never heard of before. You know, they're a completely separate company. Now I've looked into it over the years. I thought, well, why am I paying you? Because I don't owe you the money because I never signed your, your contract. I never signed your terms of business. I don't, I've never, I've never signed your, your, your terms of business in any way. They don't need a contract. It's just a different case for me and a dual case. It's actually you took the contract out with. You brought the terms and conditions of the contract. Um, right. So moving forward, um, a few conversations just between you and myself. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Moving forward. Okay. Can you come just a moment, please? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's interesting. She's just giving you legal advice, not being legally trained. She just said we don't need a contract. Yes, they do. They require um, acceptance and consent. This call's still being recorded their end, so their data pick up will pick up everything we're saying. But yeah, you'd need to mention that to her. She's just said she's not legally trained, and then said that you don't need to sign a contract to do business with them. This is a this is an addition contract, and she's not aware of what she's just said. So. I'll hold on a minute, but you've got the two options to carry on under duress and then um, do the account into dispute later or do it now, yeah, so it's entirely your call. Yeah, we'll just put it into dispute now. And send a notice in, yeah. We'll send a notice. And let them know that she's just admitted in the beginning of the call to be not legally trained and then said you don't need to sign a contract or so hold her to account for that because she's just given legal advice that's, that's incorrect. Yeah. And the regulators would need to know about that, you know, the FCA would need to know there's an agent here today telling man that he doesn't need a contract to do business with a company. Well, you don't, no, not, not unless it's a tort and under tacit acquiescence and uh, done in certain ways, which is an adhesion contract, which doesn't have a signature. It's forced upon you, it's stuck to you, so she's just made an error by saying that, about you don't need a signature to have a contract, when in contract law you'll find you do. <laughs> This is an agreement. This is an agreement. So the terms of the agreement are being adjusted now. There is no contract. She's just rendered herself liable for saying what she's just said. Yeah. And she's and she realising just got off the phone. I think. I don't know. Yeah, that's not that's not clever to say. Yeah, I'll need to get off, and we'll have to chat later. Like, we'll let her come back and just remember. 
Yeah, what was said, but... Yeah, thank, thank you for talking to Sonia. I didn't expect this phone call at all. It just came out of the blue. Four to three phone calls, mate. And ask them to stop ringing and to communicate with you in writing from now on. Yeah, we'll do, yeah, for sure. I'm not willing to accept phone calls and the amount that they do, so any further communication must come in writing. And then you've got a record of all that, and you get it all in writing, no more phone calls, the administration goes through letter only, and um, you proceed how you want to proceed, and then we'll... Hi, I'm Claudia, thank you for your I'm just speaking with my manager, in, and I've just given my manager some information in regards to what we have discussed, um, and he's advised that you want to, you know, you want to keep inside the agent yesterday, my colleague yesterday, and appreciated and very kind of you may I just add one thing then um, before you went away you did say that um, you'd bought the debt the company had bought the debt legally and that there is no requirement for signatures and contracts if you double check um, with regards to that you're um, an agent um, in a position that you've done remarkable today and this is just a, a bit of feedback when you inform somebody as an agent for a company that's financially regulated that they don't need a contract a signature to have a contract that would be an adhesion contract you're mentioning under a tacit acquiescence of uh, civil administrative law so there was a this is we're very happy with what you've done and a little bit of feedback is you have been on the record today saying that uh, under you know there's no signature required if you go and double check that you'll find that an agreement doesn't require a signature and that's what's been talked about today the agreement with the company and the terms and conditions around that so um, you've done fantastic and very happy and I'm very happy and it's not a criticism, it's feedback to say that when you're in the legal financial possession, the position and you're being monitored and regulated, if you say something to a client, customer, 
etc then uh, you would be held um, accountable for that so um, just just be aware or double check with the manager or on your line of uh, legal administrative discovery look at agreements and look at contracts and you will find that they are two different things so um, that's just a bit of feedback and uh, uh, very well done thank you yeah sorry sorry to be uh, anarchy from we're going to close the call and pass it on to it's been deleted and gone deleted. Yeah. The, the case is now closed well done mate thank you you're welcome well, i need to go we'll chat later um yeah, yeah anything yeah. Uh, you can give me any praise or grumbles on the dot com or anywhere some testimonials that would help out in these times for others but yeah we'll speak later my man no problem and yeah.